Well, a statewide traffic safety program now through Sunday wants to bring more attention to road safety. It is part of the Iowa Zero Fatalities Task Force. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Michelle White. She's been talking today with Cedar Rapids Police and also the Bureau Chief of the Task Force about launching this program. Michelle is live right now from Cedar Rapids. Tell us more. Well, Ron and Abby, Cedar Rapids Police are putting two more officers on the road now through Sunday thanks to grant money from the state. They, like law enforcement partners all around the state, are focusing on impaired driving as summer travel begins. You'll see more law enforcement officers on the road this week and education on social media, all to bring down the numbers of deaths on Iowa's roads. Law enforcement says they've seen the highest numbers of speed and most impaired driving in their careers. It seems to be the high level of intoxication in, that we deal with with some of these crashes. Um, people enjoying themselves too much, but we also have recreational drugs that get mixed into it. Um, they're drunk and high or just high, and that really has a, a big impact. COVID has had an influence on the record number of people driving more than 100 miles per hour. Part of that probably was a little bit of uh, the lockdown because when we looked at the crash data from January to June, uh, it was actually down from a year ago. And then when July 1 hit, uh, the, the number skyrocketed uh, last year uh, through the end of the year. As for this week, school is out, summer travel is taking off, and crash data revealed that June 9th through the 12th was a critical time. That time slot are, are over the last 10 years, some of the uh, highest crash uh, for serious injury and fatality, fatalities uh, in the state. Memorial Day is typically the beginning of the 100 deadliest days of the year on the roads, and enforcement is heightened on the 4th of July and Labor Day as well. When we get to the, again, those special holidays and stuff where we know there's gonna be lots of gatherings and and everything. We just want to make sure that we're keeping our roads safe. They're asking the people to buckle up, slow down, drive sober, and don't drive distracted. And Ron and Abby, since the task force announced this program two days ago, there have been two more fatalities on Iowa's roads. Colonel Hoy tells me they don't have the reported causes of those crashes yet, but he did tell me that just this year so far, there have been 56 impaired driving crashes in Cedar Rapids and the Lynn County Sheriff's Office tells me there have been 108 of those crashes in the county. Live in Cedar Rapids, Michelle White, News 7, KWWL. Michelle, thank you very much. I know you're going to stay on top and tell us more about this task force as it moves forward.